Hey everybody, today is uh, Friday, November 1st. It's 8, 12 a.m. I got an offer from DoorDash to go to uh, Pink Box and then to Crumble Cookies. I'm gonna get $11 for 3.4 miles. I was on line with support at uh, Uber Eats this morning trying to work out my uh, credit card issue with Uber Eats. So both Uber Eats and DoorDash give you like a physical uh, card so you can pay for customers orders and the card that uh, I use for Uber Eats the card expires this month and I've had it for so long I was like not sure what to do it's like how do I get it replaced um, are they gonna automatically know I need it replaced uh, what happens so I contacted support and the first time I contacted support they told me I was contacting them through the wrong account <laughs> and I was like well uh, okay so I went back into the app and pushed the but put push the button that was um, in a different part of the menu system and that got me to the right support person for um, Uber, for Uber you know if you're an Uber driver and then I told the person the problem and they had to transfer for me, to me they had to transfer me to another person who was um, related to Uber Eats support so then I talked to that person and they told me oh um, you have to do that yourself. <laughs> I spent almost 20 minutes on a stupid thing and, and they told me I had to just fix it myself. So I'll tell you what happened in a minute, but I've got to go inside the pink box and get some donuts. Got the order in the car for the uh, customer for Pink Box. There was no waiting for the order, so it was no big deal. And now I've got a. Come on, car, let's go. God. So now I've got to head on over to Crumble next. It's just across the street, but it's like a major light, so I've got to. I've got to go the proper way to get there with the least amount of danger to getting into a car accident. So I'm going to have to go up this way and then make a left and a right. In order to avoid danger. So I uh, talked to customer support and they pretty much just told me fi to figure it out myself. I mean they told me steps. They go, they go into the app and go to the part where the the uber card menu system is and then select the, the button that says to replace the card and so they told me however <laughs> there's always a catch however once you click on replace card it will immediately deactivate your current uber card that you use to pay for your customers orders and once that's deactivated it won't work and you'll have to use your own personal uh, credit card to pay for any customers orders if you so choose to shop for other customers so I was like well I'm not gonna be doing that but I will um, I guess I won't be doing any shopping orders with uh, Uber Eats until the new card comes so I went ahead and I hit the button to replace my Uber Eats card and uh, they said it would arrive in seven to ten business days so for the next seven to ten business days, I won't be doing any shopping with Uber Eats. So that's going to affect um, revenue. Um, what I don't know is if if I can use, I think I can use, I can still do orders where it says that um, no card is required. Sometimes they have a thing where a little smart code will pop up and you just scan it when you're checking out. And so you don't have to use a card and it will get paid for so I guess I'll still accept those orders although I don't know if 
I'm still gonna have a problem or not since I don't have an official activated card account with them I would assume I would not have a problem because the app specifically says your card is not required for this order so um, yeah <laughs> I don't know, maybe I just don't want to deal with the stress of that because all it takes is for me to be in one situation where I'm stuck and it's going to irritate the hell out of me. So maybe I'll just skip it for the next, it's just, that, that tells me probably for the next week or two, I'll just be doing shopping orders with DoorDash and then just food pickups with Uber Eats. That sounds like what I'm going to be doing. So I don't think that's going to affect me too much, but I do get some good orders sometimes from Uber Eats that you know that I would like to do because they're low miles and but I would need the card all right I'm pulling into uh, crumble I'm just gonna park here and uh, hopefully it's ready I got the order from Crumble. I'm just gonna hit the directions to see where the heck I'm going. One and a half miles from here. Oh, uh, where am I? Where are, you, where are you taking me, App? Well, that's the long way to go. <laughs> so I'm going to a house one and a half miles from here, six minute drive, and it's a contactless delivery. So it doesn't look like it's going to be anything kind of major problem. So yeah, so that's going to be my general plan is to um, not do anything with Uber Eats. Although I know I'm going to get tempted. I already know the moment I see a good offer from Uber Eats that involves shopping, I'm probably just going to take it and just try to make it work. All right, I'm in a total blind spot. I can't see a darn thing, so I'm stuck here because of this truck. There is absolutely zero chance that I'm going to move forward. Um, I will totally get into a car accident if I try to chance it and nudge forward. This truck is like right up against the road and I wouldn't be able to see a damn thing. Well, he's blocking the road so I can go. <laughs> now I know I can go. Oh, let's see, it's 821 right now. It's telling me to make a left here. There's a high school if I make a left here, so but it's after eight, so everybody should be in class, so I should be safe to um go up this way. I don't know why it, it wanted me to go the other way. It wanted me to go up eastern. That didn't make no sense. That was like the most difficult way possible to go. Alright, after this white car, I'm gonna make a left turn. They didn't give me a gate code or anything. I don't know if there's gonna be a gate. I assume there's gonna be a gate. <laughs> and they don't give me a gate code. Oh wait, there's the gate code. Gate code is, please leave at front door. Okay, great. But since it's a contactless delivery, I've gotta go through all the stupid steps to um, complete it. But at least I know I'm just gonna leave it at the front door. And this is, let me see, right? This is the cookie one, right? Yeah, it's the cookie one. And I'm gonna be making a right turn coming up ahead. And then I'm gonna be making a left turn up ahead. Let me get the gate code ready. To the code box. All right, I pressed it. It didn't seem to work. I will try it again. They don't have the correct code. Of course they don't. Let's see if I have any special codes. 
Oh, I have the same code. It's not working. And we're screwed. Now I'm stuck here. Code is not working. I'll message them. Do you have another gate code? The code is not working. Send. Do, 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 do. And people rarely ever come into this community at this time, so I'm going to be stuck. And there ain't nothing I can do about it. And I can't sneak in through the other way because they have two different gates. One's an in and one's an out. So irritating. I already know they're just not going to respond. Knowing people. Uh, so I'll try calling them. DoorDash, I'm at your gate, but the gate code isn't working. Do you have another oh. gate code? Yeah, they just changed it. Sorry. Um, okay. okay, so press pound. Uh huh. Pound and then. Try it. Thank you. All right, great. Thank you. There you go. Bye. Thanks. All right, people, let's go. Thanks for uh, just chit-chatting on the darn road. It's like, ugh, more obstacles. Like, how many more obstacles am I going to encounter for this simple pimple delivery? All right, let's see. I'm right here. It's going to be on the right-hand side. Let's see. Is it this one? Or is it the next one? What's this one? Let's drop this off. OMG. That was a total pain. Total pain. I'm sure the next one isn't going to be any easier than that one. Ay, ay, ay. It's supposed to be so simple, I swear. The first one, and I have to have these gate code issues. And this guy's still talking in the middle of the road. Oh my gosh. It's going on this side. Everybody has to have a conversation right in the middle of the road like in a long conversation it's like hey what here's an idea why don't you guys park the car and go inside your house and have the conversation in your house don't block the street or better yet just park and talk on the other side where you're not in the middle of the road where am i going to next i'm so irritated the next one is going to be um one minute from here, 0.3 miles, and it's gonna be a handed to me. And it looks like it's gonna be a business on the right hand side just for as soon as I cross this light. Man, that was irritating. <laughs> Maybe it's just the weather. Maybe it's me. Maybe my blood pressure is just up and I am just full on irritated just because of my blood pressure is up. Who knows? Oh boy, okay, green light, let's go. It's going to be one of these driveways coming up on the right. Um, not this one. This one. 
but the one where that car just came out. This one here, to the addresses on the right. Yes, this one here on the right. Is there any parking? No parking, no parking, no parking. Here's a parking spot. Let me drop this off next. That was an easy drop off. Now that is done. The time is 8.32. So I finished in decent amount of time. It would have been faster if I'd have had that gate code. Oh, but I still finished within, I think I finished it within 30 minutes, I think. So that was fine. And then I got out my 11 bucks. Uber Eats, $12 for 22 miles, no. And now the audio isn't working on my car for some reason. I'm sure it has something to do with uh, one of the apps that messed up my um, the sound of my phone. Four dollars and five cents for 2.9 miles now. <laughs> I just had the volume down on my on my car. That's why I didn't hear anything. Four dollars and two cents, 2.9 miles now. Five dollars ninety eight cents, 3.6 miles now. $7.21, 3.2 miles, no. <laughs> I'm like, $8, people. $7.64, 11.1 miles, no. $8, or forget it. I'm not dealing with it. I'd rather just sit at home and get nothing. Oh, hello, white generic Tesla. <laughs> I'm not dealing with any orders less than eight dollars especially in my mood right now I'm just so annoyed and I don't know why I don't know why I let things like I mean I know things like that happen so I don't know why I let it get to me and so I guess what I'll have to do now is I'll have to review my video uh, seven dollars sixty two cents eleven point nine miles no Eight five dollars two cents six point one miles no sixteen dollars and a penny twenty three miles no I guess I'll have to just review my video maybe update my codes in my Google Maps for the future in case I have to go back there because I bet you it's gonna happen again I bet you the uh, the the customers still are not gonna update their their instructions and it's gonna be another lousy gate code that doesn't work so I guess I'll do that. I have to remember to do that when I'm working on the video. Because now that's the only place where the code exists. Is in my video. And I'm currently getting 40 miles to the gallon. It's 55 degrees. And I'm getting 3 point... I've driven 3.4 miles. So all is well. Other than my blood pressure. <laughs> all is well. And of course, I had that irritation with the talking to the Uber support people and dealing with the um, the card. So, but now at least that's resolved, and I won't have to deal with um, with the card again for years and years. The card usually is is good for like probably four or five years. So, the next time I renew it, I'll be so old I probably won't even be able to. to work that work drive the car <laughs> I'll probably be around 60 I'll probably be 60 61 at that time I wonder if I'll still be doing this I would think so I'll be doing gig work of some sort I'm sure I'm sure as long as I can drive which I think four or five years from now I don't think I'm gonna be debilitated or anything I think I just you know I'm sure I'll just still be working along doing my thing making this little supplemental income for laughs just for a good old laugh and uh, 
people still have their Halloween decorations out. Um, I turned off all my lights last night, and I just watched. Uh, I watched a movie. It was that or that show, uh, a Taylor Sheridan show on Paramount Plus called The Lioness. Boy, the acting in that show is so good. It's very um, it's very well done. And uh, if you haven't seen it, it's about a secret government agency that is like a kill team. They're sort of assigned to um, track down and kill whoever the government says they want to bump off uh, in, in foreign countries. And um, uh, the lioness is usually is a code name, I think, for the person who the, the, who the organization tracks down as being the perfect person person to achieve the objective they're like they basically they hire they find people find people who are willing to be assassins for the um agency and it's you and it's always a female that's why it's called the lioness it's always a because they i guess they use a, a female because they're the least likely to be be seen as a threat and uh yeah that's how that's how the show goes and then the main character is never the lioness it's always the head of the organization so so when you first watch it you think the main character is is the lioness but she's actually not she's the the handler of the lioness and the lioness is like the sacrificial lamb it's the person who has to um give up give up their life for the country so and so they they in the way are the stars uh, see something good is coming in. Let me hit my. Oh, it's gone. It was gone. It was seventeen dollars and something cents. Uh, I got another one coming in, but it's another match. Let me. Oh, it's gone too. I'm not hitting them fast enough. What is all this smoke? What the hell is all that smoke? That was weird. That was very strange. I don't know what that was. So two good offers came in. But they vanished in seconds because they were trip radars. One was for 16 something and one was for eleven seventy. Seven dollars fifty-two cents, eleven miles no. So they both vanished while I was talking to you guys. And I'm sure I could have possibly got them if um, I wasn't doing screen captures of the um, offers, but that's a part of what how I make the video is I screen capture the offer. So that delays me from accepting the offer. But what this is, I do, I sacrifice for you guys for the videos. <laughs> the time is 10:54 a.m. I got an offer from Uber Eats. I'm headed on over to uh, Jimmy John's, and I'm going. Oh no, sorry, not Jimmy John's. Jersey Mike's, and I'm going to get seven dollars and forty-nine cents for 3.3 miles. Man, I was home for a really long time, and I have, I think that the app for Uber Eats is not sending me any shopping orders right now. All I got was just regular pickup orders, and I was trying to stick to my $8 minimum uh, since I got back home, and after waiting almost, let's see, 8.30, 9.30, almost two hours I want to say yeah because I, I finished the last one I think at 8 30 I think and then I was home by near 9 so let's say 9 10 two, yeah two hours so for two hours I was at home and the offers that I got I got multiple offers that were borderline they were like um, you know seven dollars and change offers um, kind of very similar to this one, but I didn't take them. I was like, no, eight dollars, eight dollars. And then I got some um, matches uh, that you new know, trip radars that were good offers. But every time I tried to get them after I took a screen capture of them, they would vanish, or it would say I was, you know, I was not chosen or whatever to do the the job, so I would miss out on it. So that was really sucky. So I was like, well, nothing I can do about it. I said, the only thing I can do is lower my rate. So I said, all right, I'm going to lower my rate. $7. So now it's $7, $2 for every mile. 
so that means at the very that means it should it should work out now or I'll get some work <laughs> after waiting two hours and I started to fall asleep I was like I'm starting I can feel my body drifting off and I said oh no I don't want to fall asleep I want to finish you know finish reach my goal for the day so I um that's why I changed the amount and uh I didn't want to have to have egg on my face by the end of the day where I did not adapt to the environment that I'm currently in. So this is me adapting by lowering it to lowering it by one dollar to um, Turn left, then pick up. to the what it is seven dollars. So let's pick up this sandwich here at Jersey Mike's. So, oh, that's a handicap. Jersey Mike's sub. Oops, am I here? Am I parked even? Yep. Hello, I'm uh, picking up for hunt. I was ready to go. And it looks like I'm going to a business 2.2 miles from here, seven minute drive. It's a leave at the door. It says leave at reception. All right, let's see what's the best way for me to go to get there. How are you taking me? Oh, all right. All right, that's the way I'll go. If that's what you're saying, that's what I'm doing. I'm not gonna argue with you. I just wanna get there and be done. So you tell me what's the best way to go navigation it's all that matters to me turn left then turn right on southeastern Let's avenue see. turn here turn right on southeastern avenue what's this guy doing he must be in a blind spot his car is angled really weird do I have do I have internet right now? It says no internet. Why do I have internet? Well, there it goes. I'm trying to pause, unpause, and pause my DoorDash so I don't lose it. Oh, it's a student. Well, I know I don't know what it's like in your town, but in this town there are so many people that have these fake stickers on the backs of their cars that say please be patient student driver and it's not a student driver it's just somebody who doesn't want anybody tailgating them or honking at them so I, it's a trend like I've never seen them before ever uh, as far as the epidemic of stickers that say this message of you're a student driver until recently recently it just seems like everybody is putting those stupid stickers on their car that say they're a student driver when they're not. So, go figure. Oh man, this guy on the right should get a sticker that says he's a student driver. I don't know what the heck he's doing. I'm like, why are you driving so strange? Your, your behavior tells me you want to get in my lane, but yet you're not. You're going straight ahead. It's like, okay, well let's keep going straight ahead then, dude. I don't understand what you're doing. So this order was real easy to pick up. There was no problems at all. I just went ahead and um, I walked inside. I said the name and there was nobody in there. There were no customers. And so it was a real easy pickup. I wish I would have accepted those ones earlier. One was uh, Rachel's Kitchen for $7. And it was only like two miles. And then another one was um, in the $7, it was like a tropical smoothie. There were like a couple that now I'm looking back, I'm like, why didn't I take it? And I should have known because I don't have my Uber, my Uber Eats credit card. <clears throat> I should have recognized immediately once I deactivated my Uber Eats card. <clears throat> that I was going to be screwed. And then I would have been like, okay, well, I'm going to lower my rate immediately. <sighs> but nope. <clears throat> I, was, I was in 
I was in um, the the old uh, river in Africa. <laughs> Is it in Africa? The Nile? <laughs> Is I believe that's the, I believe the the. The denial is in Africa. The Nile River, let's see. Yeah, that's right. You know, I think that was a... Wasn't there a, a biblical story with Moses being put on the on the Nile River and he floated and they got him as a baby? <laughs> okay, Africa. Denial. Was it the, I'm like a river in Africa. Denial. <laughs> First I thought, wait a minute, is, is the Nile River in South America? <laughs> I got a little bit confused for a second. <clears throat> More water. <clears throat> well, so far this seems like it's going to be a pretty simple delivery so far. It looks like it's going to be near a Starbucks a Starbucks just just north of the 215 freeway I don't predict too many issues the issues so I mean unless I mean I think it says it's some kind of bank so it could be some problems um, hopefully it's not hopefully it's just some kind of like financial services business where there's just a receptionist at the desk and I can hand it to them. It's not like a Bank of America or some, you know, one of those public banks where it's like you can't tell where to go once you walk in. And you got to just kind of, you know, wander around until somebody notices you and they walk up to you. So let's see when I get there. Traffic is flowing along okay, but it's pretty busy right now. It is almost lunchtime. It's 11.04 a.m. Temperature 66 degrees, 7.3 miles on the car, and I'm getting 50 miles to the gallon. All this kind of traffic here is pretty normal, and this these lights are pretty kind when it comes to uh, letting letting all these cars. Because it looks like there's hundreds of cars in front of me, but um, the lights for whatever reason in this area they allow all these cars to just keep flowing to get to the freeway so they're they're well timed this is probably one of the busiest intersections in this town so the, the lights are usually pretty kind well, that's not true the busiest ones are on the strip and those ones are terrible it's just bumper to bumper any time of day yeah we're flowing along just fine i got i got green lights ahead of me Oh man, I sure hope I get a good offer right after this one because I'm worried I'm, when I get home I'm just going to turn the app off and go to sleep. I didn't get enough sleep last night. I was up till about 10.30 last night. I woke up at about 3 a.m. So I'm on fumes at the moment. Alright, I believe after this light I'm going to make a left. I do to believe. Uber Eats, six dollars and a penny, nine point two miles. No, come on, red little red car. Let's go. All right, where's this building at? Is this one on the right? Oh yeah, it is. It's the one on the right. All I gotta do is find a place to park. That's all. Do not enter. Do not enter. Do you mean do not enter over there? Or do you mean do not enter over here? Well, at any rate, I'm just going to park. I don't care. Just... Oh, shoot. There's a big old divider right there. I'm not going to walk through all that garbage. I'll go around. Oh, wait. No, i got to get close to the front door. I've got to walk through the garbage. I'll just park.
was nobody inside of the business. It was just an empty desk. And I shouted out the customer's name. And then I took a picture of the food at the at the at the desk and then I left. And that's the end of that story. And now I'm making my way back home and uh I'm going to just uh, go really slow here and um, hope something else comes in so I don't end up all the way back home. Uh, Uber Eats, 869, 19.5 miles, no. DoorDash, 475 for, who cares, it's not worth it. Yep, hopefully something else comes in. I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen. Ooh, the traffic is busy. Three dollars and eight cents. Seven point one miles. No. Nine dollars twenty-five cents. Twelve miles. No. Traffic is busy. Busy, busy. Everybody, flow along. Don't worry about me. I should have went the other way. I should have went the other way, but I was like, I'm in no hurry. And now I'm like, well, am I in a hurry? <laughs> Maybe I am. Oh, God, the traffic is really backing up. I'm just going to have to scooch and make a right turn here. I got no choice. And stay in this lane. There's no way around this situation. Oh, there I go. There I go. Oh, I, I can make it. I can make it. <laughs> I can make that life. Taco Bell from DoorDash. $3.50. 2.7 miles. No. $7.07. 12 miles. No. Oh, man. Please send me something worth my time. $7.75, 7.3 7 miles, no. $5.09, 6.6 .6 miles, no. I'm going to turn here. I am going to turn here. But I want to turn in the lane with the least amount of traffic. With the least amount of traffic, of course. Come on, everybody. 767, 13 miles, no. Somebody send me something good. 1267, 13 miles. 516, 4.4 .4 miles. $5, 2.8 miles. 625, 4.8 miles. $11, 6.7 miles. Stop trying to F with my DoorDash, you stupid widget. <laughs> That widget is trying to mess me up. Five dollars four cents, two point eight miles. No. That widget purposely is effing trying to f me over. Here's a potential good one. Oh, but it's going up towards the airport. No thanks. It was like for fourteen dollars seven miles, but going up near the airport. Nope, that ain't happening. This light is so long. But obviously there's there's a lot of work right here because I'm getting a lot of offers. Just nothing good. Just nothing that meets my standards. Seven dollars and ten cents. Two point two. Oh, okay. two deliveries to Cafe Zupa's. Hell no. Nine dollars. Six point two miles. Two deliveries. No. God, everyone's so cheap today. It's like where? What happened to all the standard offers I used to get? <laughs> Where are you generous customers? That's what I'm looking for. Generosity. <laughs> Here, I gotta get over one more. Oh, is this guy getting over? No, he's making a right. Okay. Well have to see what happens next it sure is pretty today sunny 65 degrees no clouds in the sky it's really nice today really nice
really nice weather. Good, good weather to be out and about. Seven dollars and twenty-five cents. Eight point four miles. No. Yeah, no wind. It's very comfortable. Really don't need to be wearing a jacket, but I'm wearing one. <laughs> It's always funny when you're in the car is when you don't want to have the jacket on and then I can't take it off because I got to drive there should be a special breakaway we can just grab your jacket and just rip it right off a breakaway jacket that would be pretty cool oh boy well now I'm about halfway home so come on out send me something right now I've got what that seven bucks plus eleven I got an eighteen dollars and change right now I'm just a little over fifty percent to my goal and it's eleven fourteen a.m. Do you know I've been online since eight a.m. <laughs> oh my lord that's a long time to not be getting any work there's nothing I can do about it I mean, I'm not gonna. I could always just lower it down to five dollars, like start taking five dollar offers, and I probably would have been done by now if I would have done that. But I like the idea of just putting as little miles on my car as possible. Eleven dollars and sixty six cents for five point eight miles. God, that is very borderline close. Uh, I guess I will take it. I guess. I mean, I guess. I mean, I just accepted it, so I guess that means I'm going to take it. Uh, where am I going? Where is this taking me to? <laughs> where are you taking me? Oh, okay. We're going to be going into the, um, casino. Hold on. And I got to pause, I got to pause my DoorDash. Oh, shoot. Something came in from DoorDash. It always happens. Whenever I'm ready to pause DoorDash, something comes in. Well, let me tell you about the offer as I slowly crawl through the shopping center. All right, so from Uber Eats, uh, going to Capriati's, I'm going to get $11.66 for 5.8 miles. <laughs> that is it. Those are your details for this one. And it's just one... It's one delivery, so uh, what's the best way to go? Uh, is it better to go straight ahead or to make a left? Maybe it's better to make the left. I think it's less drama if I make a left. Turn here. Hey, they said, oh, the customer just messaged me. They said they hope I'm having a good day. I'm located in, a, and they told me their suite number, and then I said, I should have, well, I'm busy now, I'm driving, I'm not going to message them back, I just wanted to read what they said, oh, these customers, man, they, don't they know that we're driving, <laughs> why do they have to send text messages while we're driving, doesn't it make any sense? Send a text message when you know I'm at the restaurant. Then it makes sense because you know I'm not driving. All right, it's going to be... There's no more lights, so I'm just cruising now. I got to go up the parking structure um, to get to this particular sandwich place. And it's inside the casino. So let's just slowly make the way around this bend. It's gonna be straight ahead on the right after an, after one more stop sign. Oh, okay, so after I get the eleven bucks for this one, what does that put me at? I think thirty dollars maybe. And then it's just five bucks to go. <laughs> it's just five bucks to go. I'm gonna turn this garbage off and go take a nap. I'm tired. I came out in the mood. I'm not feeling it. I'm tired today. I really should have went to bed earlier. I got so caught up in it being Halloween, it just felt like I should stay up. And that was my fault. That was my own lack of foresight. Well, coming up here on the right, I'm going to follow that white, where that white car is going. And uh, head up the ramp. Make a right heel. 
At least it's just one cus just one customer. It's just one delivery, so it's not bad. Let me see if I can message this customer back now. It doesn't have an option to send a customer a message. Oh, wait, there it is. There's the button. Okay, got it. He goes, I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> I'm like, I'd have a better day if you didn't send me messages while I'm driving. Oh, it would make it easier for me to not have to communicate with you. Well, it's busy today, so I'm going to park far. Thank you, sir. He said, thank you, sir. Oh, I should have parked there. See, he messed me up for my parking. I missed the parking spot. Wow, the smell of marijuana up here is just so gross. <laughs> oh, and I'm out in the open. Someone must be in their car just totally just smoking up. Oh, God. All I want is a nice, peaceful day. <laughs> Every day I would like nice, peaceful, no problems, and just cruising along. And I find that to be harder and harder to do every day. Every day it gets more challenging to get this kind of crap done. Oh. I got another offer that came in and I didn't accept it because I'm an idiot. <laughs> it was an extra six dollars and it would have completed my day for just another three miles. And I didn't accept it. And it was right here. The, the restaurant was literally right here inside of the casino. And why didn't I accept it? Because it wasn't two dollars for every mile. It was like a half an, a half a mile too too much over the over what I wanted, which was dumb. It's like, oh, you dummy, you should have taken that one, and then you'd be done. Sometimes I'm just not thinking, and it's probably because I'm I'm uh, tired, so I'm not on I'm not on point today. I'm very much off point. <laughs> I'm about as off point today as it gets. Oh, some days I'm on my game. I'm just so quick to know what to do. And then there are just certain days where you just you can't make the right decisions. And that's what this that's what the secret to this job is about. It's about making correct decisions. And when opportunities arrive, you have to decide what is a good opportunity and what is not and that goes for both the money and for like driving when you're navigating the car you have to really you have to really be on your game oh and I'm just not today so like my my min, my main goal right now is just don't get in a car accident and just get your $35 if you can that's just like try to get your 35 bucks before two o'clock and um, don't crash the car <laughs> those are the those are the primary goals and of course don't crash the car is number one and the second one is optional <laughs> it's a primary optional goal it's like if I don't hit the 30 I don't hit the 30 so the particular place I'm going to next is going to, I'm going to have to get on the freeway and I'm going to have to go all the way to Gibson. And it's in probably one of these business industrial places, so I'll have to wait and see and figure out what I'm going to do. So, and this car on the right, I don't know if he was there first or if I was there. I'm just like, I'm just going to go. <laughs> I don't know who was there first. Oh good, he made a right, so he doesn't have to give me a dirty look through the rear view mirror. Ooh. Oh, man. Seven minutes, 3.9 miles. Some business meet at the door. They told me what suite number they're in, and they're very polite in their messaging. Uh, $4.07, 5.2 miles, no. Oh, well. 
can't win every time, you know. I really wanted to take that one. If I could go back in time, rewind, rewind, I would have taken that panda order. But here's the here's the reason why it's kind of good I didn't take the panda order. It probably was not ready. So I would have been delayed on this order that I'm doing here, which could have affected the tip. So that's another possibility that the second that the panda order would have caused complications in my uh, achieving my full tip award for delivering this um, Capriati sandwich. So all in all, it's fine. I'm gonna have a long drive back, and maybe something else will pop up that'll be even better. Maybe I'll get a you know a $55 offer after I drop this one off, and I'll be laughing. Oh. <laughs> Why did I even worry about that panda order? It was so ridiculous. <laughs> even now, it's only $6. Who cares? All right, here we go. We're on the freeway. Temperature 63 degrees. I took my jacket off, so I felt much better. I was overheating. Oh, please, someone let me over. God, these people, they drive like effing lunatic. That stupid car on the left that's going like 100 miles an hour cut me off. Well, that's Vegas for you. Everybody drives like an idiot. That's why I have to drive defensively. I get on here and I just like, okay. I'm in a I'm in a slow moving car. Just go real slow. Take your time. Let everybody flow around you. Go the speed limit. Try to stay in the slow lane if you can. Take your time and look out for trouble. Trouble's around every corner in this town. Oh, man. Currently have 12 miles on the car. I'm getting 60 miles to the gallon. And I'm not hungry, believe me. <laughs> I pigged out like you wouldn't believe. I had a, a bagel with butter, cream cheese, and an egg. Man, after I ate that, I had a, I had a cherry Danish with, on top of a slice of high fiber bread. I'm telling you, I am so full. I'm not happy lunch. And uh, the family tonight, they want to have wiener schnitzel, and that just makes me want to gag the thought of that. I'm like, no thanks. So I'm going to probably end up either not eating tonight, or I'm just going to have something probably at home. Because it's like the thought of something greasy. Ugh. No thanks, I don't want it. Ugh. All I want to do, probably all I want to do right now is go to sleep. I just want sleep, that's all I want. Uh, Uber Eats, $10 and a penny, 4.3 miles to go to Walmart. No. Okay, so I'm going to get off here. I'm going to be making, uh, once I get off the freeway, I'm going to be making a left and then a quick and then a right. And they're looking at me. They've got the little icon on, so they're looking for me. And this particular place I'm going to, as I recall, it's not easy to turn into this place. If it's the same place I'm thinking of. There's like this particular um, storage facility over there. And the turn is like, there's like no place to really park. You just have to throw your hazards on and run. Maybe it's a different place. $10.08, 3.9 miles, Walmart, no. I will never do a Walmart, never. I don't care if it said $10,000, I'm like, nope. Ah, this is that place that's hard to get into. Oh man, I think it is. Why can't the drop-offs be easy? The moment I saw the cross streets for this drop-off, I was like, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, it's going to be a bad drop-off experience. And I think I'm going to be right. But you guys will see when you get there. You'll see what I'm talking about. There's a lot of places here where it's just no fun to drop off. And this is considered to be the outer rim of where I like to deliver. So it's almost like the last cross street. Oh, i got to stay in this lane. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Uber Eats, twelve dollars five cents, twelve point four miles. No. 
They must have just recently put that lane in that's to the right. I don't recall there being a right lane over there. It must be new. See, even this truck, he's like, I need to get over. <laughs> I need to get, you got confused too. He's just like me. It's like, yeah, that wasn't there before. I agree with you, truck. That right turn lane was not there. And when you get off the freeway, it tricks you. $8, $0.06, 5.2 miles. No, stop sending me stuff. You're messing up my navigation so I can't see. Uh, what's the address? All right. It's after the next light. $4.07, 4.6 miles. No. I hate when they send me stuff and I'm nearing the drop-off. Then I can't even see the um, map. say the address was okay okay I got it whoa see look at me I can drive whoa break 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 <laughs> all right it's coming up eleven dollars and five cents seven point seven miles stop sending me shit okay it's gonna be this this building here and then we're gonna look for the unit number number a is for apple, B is for boy. <laughs> Five dollars eight cents, four point seven miles now. Okay, I think I see it right here. I need park and go in. Good news, the customer walked right up to my car. But of course I had just turned my car off, so I didn't get to capture anything. Easy drop off, much easier than I was expecting. I forgot about this particular business complex. Uh, something came in, what? 1448, 13.3 miles, no. Yeah, he was nice, there was no problems at all. He was actually waiting for me. I could have probably just pulled up next to him, but I wasn't 100% sure if he was the customer or not. So I was like, well, let me just park. Oh God. Cars going really too fast. Cars going really too slow. Five dollars four cents. Four point five miles. No. Eleven dollars eight cents. Eleven point three miles. No. Now my turn to go. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. Ooh. Now I gotta make a U-E. 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 Cars going too fast. Cars going too slow. Come on, cars. $3.46, 6.1 miles, no. $3.40, 3.9 miles, same, re same request. Oh God, now there's a car right there. Lady, you better effing go. Or don't go, make up your mind. It's one or the other. $3.40, it says 3.9 miles, go. Great. <laughs> Thanks a lot, lady. Where's the stop? Where do you go drive to? Right here? Is this where I go up to? Something come in? Seven dollars and five cents for 4.2 miles. No. There's nothing good over here. The offers that come out, come in over here are not that good. And you can see I'm not getting any shopping orders. I've gotten zero shopping orders from uh, Uber Eats. Zero. They probably think I think when you press that button to replace your card, it may, it the app thinks that somebody stole your card. So it doesn't want to give you any orders because it's worried that you have a lot of fraudulent transactions that have occurred and that's why you canceled the card. It's not very smart. It doesn't think, well, gee, this card is going to expire and this driver wants a replacement for this card. It just piles you in with the people that have, that have been... Um, you know, hacked. It's like, I haven't been hacked, Uber. My card's gonna expire. I just need a, a replacement card. You know, like a regular credit card company would do? They know your card is expiring, so they would just send you another one. Uber doesn't do that. They just assume you must have lost it. And so they just let the card expire and you have to contact them. $7.24, 13 miles, no. So you can't, you, you always have this gap when a card expires and there's nothing you can do about it so two dollars and 26 cents 6.3 miles no 
And I'm outside of my zone, so I'm not getting anything from DoorDash right now. I'm just kind of just stuck. Got to remind myself, I just got to make, I think, five more dollars. Eight dollars, 23 cents, nine miles, no. All I got to do is make about five dollars more, I think, if I did my math right. So if I just get one more seven dollar offer, I'm going to be good to go. Let's get back on the freeway and make our way back. Let's get back to the zone. Back, 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 back to the zone. Nine dollars forty nine cents. Eight point five miles. No. I need to get over. I need to get over. This guy behind me likes to tailgate. It's like get out of here. Five dollars fifty cents. Six point seven miles. No. Please, please, please send me something good. Please. <laughs> $7, 6 cents, 9.8 miles now. Time is 11.38. 65 degrees. 16.4 miles on the car. $2.41. $2.32. miles. No. <laughs> No, two dollars forty-one cents, four point three miles. No. Eight dollars thirty-six cents, four point four miles. Well, that sounds good. I just gotta get off at the next exit. I just have to get off here. I think this is gonna do her. So let me tell you about. Let me first pause my DoorDash. Pause. Let's talk about our next offer. We're going to be going, this is from Uber Eats. I'm going to uh, Makers and Finders. I'm going to get $8.36 for four miles. Well, this is a good one, I guess, right? It's, this is actually, yeah, this is a good one. The only problem with Makers and Finders is whatever drinks they ordered, they're not ready. They only make them once you get there. So... I'll just tell them I'm there and just hang out. Hang out in their restaurant for however long it may take. Let's see, what did they order? What did you order? Uh, a breakfast empanada skillet. A drink. Honey vanilla latte. A honey vanilla latte. Oh, excuse me. And then I'll go this way. Any more drinks? No, that's it. So one drink. I don't know what a Maduros is. Is a Maduros a drink? I've never heard of a Maduros. Maduros. Maybe that's food. Salsa Verde. Yeah, it sounds like a, I don't think it's a drink. Because it's it's appearing below their, their, their condiments. So. And see, makers and finders, there it is straight ahead. And I'm going to probably park on the right so I can easily get out and there's always plenty of parking right here yeah and I'll just cross the street Just like I thought. <laughs> Just like I thought it wasn't ready. The only irony was that it wasn't the drink that was not ready. It was the food. So go figure. Now I've got to somehow manage to make my way out of here. Let's see. Go slow. Let me just back out so I don't get sideswiped. Okay. Okie dokie now. Okie dokie now. Let's get out of this parking lot that's filled with Teslas. Let us go. 
move along we're going to be going where are we going to a house leave it the door leave it between the column and the wall eight minutes 2.7 miles I can do that <laughs> I'm smart I can do that <laughs> I can leave it between the column and the wall. <laughs> I think I can. <laughs> Although sometimes I can't ring a doorbell, but I think I can leave an item between the door. Uh, or is it the column? No, the column and the wall, not the door and the wall. I'm going to miss this left turn. There are so many cars coming right now. I totally missed it. I was goofing around. That's what I get for goofing around. I missed my turn. I'm sure another opportunity will come up real soon. Re this guy keeps going forward every time I go forward. It's like, come on, I need to see. I need to know when it's safe for me to go. <laughs> oh shit, I barely made it. <laughs> oh, I better stop goofing around. This is gonna be the last one, I am done. I'm starting to get loopy. And I've hit my goal. I'm going to be at like $38. Is what I think the total is going to be. Oh, God. <laughs> Help me. This job. This job is wacky. Wacky Jackie. This is not a bad job to do if you don't need any money. <laughs> it's, this is the perfect job if you don't need any income. <laughs> That's what I would title this job. Don't need any income? <laughs> do this job. Because you have absolutely no idea how much money you're going to make every day. But you will have a good time cruising. If you like cruising in your car, you'll enjoy that. And I sure do. That's my favorite part about the job. It's just cruising around in my neighborhood. Seeing what's going on. I really enjoy it. That is truly the, the best, the main reason. Uber Eats, $5 and a penny, 5.4 miles, no. I should turn that shit off. <laughs> Stop requests. There, now they won't bug me. Cause I ain't interested, especially going outside of my zone. I'm gonna be all the way near Warm Springs Road to get to this place, so. I do not want any offers that are anywhere near Warm Springs Road. <laughs> Excuse me. I just really just want to do this, do the job and be done. That's what I really, really want. And I have to go to the bathroom. I just had to say it. <laughs> this is what I get for eating all that food this morning. Now I gotta go to the bathroom. <sighs> Well, the traffic is really nice over here. We're in a real residential area of um, Green Valley. This is the older part of Green Valley. The houses here, I believe, were built in the um, 1980s, early 1990s. So you got a lot more um, mature trees over here. It's been around a little bit longer. It's still considered a nice part of town. There's no... Um, there's no real trouble that happens over here, as far as I know, and it's pretty peaceful, you know, to live off of this road. It's not a crazy road to live off of. It's sort of off the beaten path. It's over, it's like parallel to uh, Green Valley, which of course is the main busy road. And um, there's not really much over here in terms of, you know, stores or anything. I mean, if you really drive a little bit further, you'll make it to uh, Sunset Station and all that other stuff and all that other stuff. But to me, that's far. That's going away from where I live. So I'm like, why would I ever go over there? I guess if, if I lived over here, that's where, where I would do my shopping. I'd have to head over to the Sunset Station, Sunset Mall, all that kind of thing. And you can see, look, look at the houses. You can tell they're older. They have an older look to them. I'm going to be making a right coming up ahead. This is the road, I think, the street just before Warm Springs Road. Turn right on Navarre Lane. And, um, take a look, so you'll see. They're just more traditional looking houses in this street. They're, um, 
They're like a mix of single stories, or are they all single stories? No, it's a mix of single story and two story, but they're very old relative to um, the area. Um, take a look, you'll see. <laughs> Can you see them? You can see them on the left and the right. I think the, the camera is taking them in. They're, uh, would this be considered like a ranch style house? I don't know. Oh God, whose turn is this? Is it mine? I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm sorry, I'm going. Oh, did I miss my turn? Why is it, wait a second. Is it, is it saying I'm on the wrong street? Oh no, I went on the wrong street. Gosh darn it. How did that happen? How did I do that? It said at the stop sign make a left. I messed up. I think I got thrown by the by all the cars being at the intersection and then this there was like this U-Haul thing to my left. You want to go? I'll go. Thank you. Thank you. Missed my turn. Oh, I'm turning on this street. Oh, I know somebody that used to live on this street. How funny is that? But am I going on that street? No, I'm making a, a right. I am so turned around. Oh, look at the haunted house. Do not enter. It looks like a crime scene. That is creepy. Oh, quarter mile drop off. Okay, got it. They said leave it between the column and the wall. <laughs> See, I already forgot. Yeah, column and wall. Okay, column and wall. Whew, took a while to get over here. Oh, it's all the way at the end. Man, we're on a journey for this one. This co this coffee they got is gonna or latte is gonna be ice cold by the time I drop it off. Because when I arrived, it was just sitting there on the counter. There was no, there was, I don't know how long I'd have been there. It's going to be on the left, maybe where that motorhome is. Uh-huh, I'm looking. I'm look. I think it's the one with the motorhome and all the cars. Yup, that's it. It's going to turn it around. Column? Do they have a column? Oh, there's the column. I see the column. I see it. I'm smart. I'm really, really smart. I am. I promise. Navigation, how do I get the heck home? Seatbelt. Seatbelt. Even this poor area there are Teslas. Even in the poor part of the area. Alright, navigation. Not now. Just start. Why do you ask me stupid questions? Oh hell no, I ain't going that way. Are you out of your mind? You must be crazy, navigation. I'm making a left turn on Warm Springs Road. You're absolutely bonkers, bonkers if you think I'm turning there. You know how busy Warm Springs Road is? Oh, man. So much for smart navigation. That would have been a big, big mistake. Help! Help! That's what that sign says. Help! I'm sure that was a scary haunted house. I mean, it's real little, but I'm sure it would scare you because you can't, it's all dark. You can't see a darn thing when you go in. I'm going to right here. In a quarter mile, turn left I'm headed back to the, the street I was on. I got a lot of stop signs here. Thirteen minute drive back, four point six miles. 
Okay, I need to turn the apps back on because I need a free ride back home. Alright, I'm turning the app back on. I'm unpausing my... I'm resuming my... Oh, there's no internet. <laughs> Never mind, there's no internet right here. I can't do anything. Everything is stuck. And I got 15 minutes left on my dash. It's like, I would like a free ride back home, please. I would like you to pay for my miles to get back home. Currently have 21 miles on the car. I'm getting 66 miles to the gallon. It's 11.58. $5.61. 5.7 miles. Oh, stop sign. Hello. Hello, stop sign. Uh, Four dollars fifty-six cents, three point five miles. No, four dollars fifty-six cents, three point five miles. I just said that. I want to resume my dash, if you please. See how I almost messed up my priority number one. Don't get in. A, don't get in a wreck. I almost went right through that stop sign. That would have been bad. That would have made me very angry. Hangry. Well, I'm just cruising along. Um, I'm gonna jump on the freeway once I get close enough to it. 551, 6.6 .6 miles now. What is this person doing? God, come on, guys, stop smoking your marijuana and go. Six dollars, eight cents, 6.9 miles. No. I'm a hundred percent. He was there at the stop sign before me, but he was so stoned he didn't know. Nine dollars, eight cents, 9.4 miles. No. Rolling along. As soon as I get on the freeway, I'm going to say my goodbyes unless something comes in. And I'm hightailing at home. All in all, I guess it was a good day. Look, I finished at noon. I got a CVS offer. $6.25. Uber Eats, $5.03. 5.5 miles. No, the... CVS DoorDash order for $6.25 is going away. Stop putting your hand outside the, your window. <laughs> Just stop. It's like, what are you doing that for? $19.06, 12.2 miles, no. Uh, these people, they're like shut-ins. They come, they come outside and they can't believe there's an outside. They're so, they're so used to always living inside their house like it's a prison come outside they gotta roll the window down and stick their hand out the window nope 975 10.7 miles no you're almost out of time delivery apps you're almost out of time we're getting close to the freeway $17.07 for 12.4 miles hell no you have to pay me a lot more than that plus you were taking me away from my area $10.36 for 3.1 miles that looks like a good one, huh? Let's see, how do I see it? I want to see the map, though. It won't let me. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. And I can use the bathroom at McDonald's, except. All right, I accepted it. Oh, I have to, offici I have to officially tell you about it, though. <laughs> Give me a second. Let me, let me um, pause my DoorDash again. Uh, what can I tell you about this Uber Eats offer? I'm going to be going to McDonald's. I'm going to get $10.36 for 3.1 miles. All right. And I think it's taking me close to home, too. I think this one's going to do her. This is going to do her. <laughs> oh, and they have a bathroom. And they have a bathroom. And they have a bathroom. I'm so happy. I get to kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I never thought it would all work out like this, but it's working out good. So this is going to take me to almost $50 for today. Pretty good, I have to say. I just got to make sure when I walk in, I don't act like a delivery driver so they don't pay any attention to me. Because I want to first, obviously, first use the restroom. Making it right here. You can see the McDonald's, and you can see it's busy, which is perfect because I have to use the restroom. <laughs> oh, the parking lot's not that busy. I thought there'd be more cars in the parking lot. Not busy really at all. I mean, not much. I'll just park right here next to this black truck.
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you. There is nothing better. I'm hitting all the all the positive points of this day. Exceeding my goal in the amount of money I'm making for the day. Getting an order that had a bathroom. No waiting for the order once I got out of the bathroom. And getting a free ride back towards home. <laughs> it doesn't get any better, right? It does not get any better. So now I'm headed off 2.1 miles from here. Six minute drive. I'm going to a house. It's a leave at the door and I have a gate code. I am telling you, this does not get any better. The only thing that could have made it better is that there wouldn't have been a wait to use the bathroom. There was a line to use the bathroom. So that was the only downside. It wasn't a long line. There was just somebody in there. That was all. So not too bad. And um, it turned out that the person that was in the bathroom was an employee who was cleaning the bathroom. So it really worked in my favor. I got a nice clean bathroom to use. So that really worked out good. It was a very happy, happy surprise as it turns out. So no problems at all. And uh, the temperature is 66 degrees. The time is 12.09 p.m. I should be home by 12.30 p.m. And I will take a nap. Hopefully for at least an hour, I'll get a nap in. The car is getting 63 miles to the gallon, and I have currently have about 24 miles on the car. So it is a very good day. Very, very good. Oh, and I'm just looking forward to just dropping this off. <laughs> I am looking forward to dumping this McDonald's order off and going home that is the best part that is the best part of the day is when you finish your work and then you feel accomplished you're like I did something today I didn't just lay around the house I did something I'm contributing this is my contribution to society <laughs> that would be sad if that's all you're contributing is delivering food but I guess if you're supporting a family or doing something like that it's not but to me, this is just a, this is like hobby. This is a fun, fun thing. Or it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be. Some days it is. Like today, it is, it's not bad. This is my mood. The lack of sleep. I think if I'd have got a good night's sleep, this would have been a very happy day. It was my own sour mood that, that was putting a um, damper on the um, experience today. Because you, if you look over all the things that happened, it was just nothing major was occurring. And uh, and I did I do any shopping? I don't think I did any shopping today. So any day where you don't have to do shopping is a good day because I didn't have to push a shopping cart up and down the aisles or deal with any of that baloney. So no, it was a good day. Well, this particular area I'm going to the internet usually craps out on me so I better take a screen capture of the um, gate code let me do that Turn now there. I had one time where it crapped out and I couldn't even see on the app the um, information I couldn't see the address I couldn't see the gate code I couldn't see anything the app was just spinning I think that was DoorDash though I don't think Uber Eats does that but just in case I did a screen capture of the um, of the information for you know the address and the gate code just in case. Oh boy. Yeah, all is well. Even the traffic. This this road doesn't have a lot of traffic. It's the road um, that crosses this road. The, the other road. It has a lot of traffic, so... But this particular light is very, very long. There is a, a, a hockey center to the left of me. It used to be a pavilion, an outdoor pavilion, but now it's a hockey 
place and it's for the and it's for the silver silver not the gold not the golden knights but the silver I don't know the silver of something <laughs> obviously you could tell I'm not into hockey but this is the ho the home this is the where it's not a it's not a uh, an NA NHL team I think it's an a AHL team so it's not as high level as the Golden Knights. Um, what's what's another type of knight that isn't a knight? Silver, and their symbol is a horse. What is the horse? Um, silver. <laughs> I don't know. Silver stallions? No, that doesn't sound right. Anyway, we have two hockey teams here, and the one of the the one that isn't the Golden Knights is located here at this at this. Uh, location it's called the Lee's Forum or something like that what's it called Lee's Family Forum is what it's called home of the I don't know I tried to see on the sign I don't see any signs that say what they, they I just see a symbol of a horse but anyway hockey's real big here we get a lot of people that live here that are from Wisconsin and they love hockey because you know, that's where it's cold and that's all they play up there so um, yeah, that's why we. That's why hockey's so popular here. And if you look at a lot of the um, license plates and stuff that people have, uh oh, is there a guy on a bicycle here? Oh Lord, help me! Please, please ride your bike real slow so I can make this right turn. Please, give me a chance. All I'm asking for is a chance to not get in an accident with you. Oh good, he was ped he started pedaling really slow. All right, and we're gonna go through all these beautiful trees. And there's gonna be a the second ride is the gated is the community. There's like three or four different gated communities here. There's this one here on the right. We're not going to that one. And then there's gonna be one more coming up on the right. Not the place straight ahead. That's where the millionaires live. That's a million dollar community straight ahead. Over to the right is where I'm turning. And uh, make sure I get the gate code. Oh, the gate is oh you missed the gate oh and I got into the code oh well oh open up open up it's gonna be it looks like the first house on the right as soon as I go in where the, all the gardeners are at <laughs> you know where all these gardeners are at the guy with the snow with the blower that's where I have to go wouldn't you know it wouldn't you just know it that that's where I have to go that's <laughs> insane there was like no space to walk between the cars so he had to kneel down and the guy almost like I think the guy hit his head there was like a gardener there he tried to walk through and he bonked his head on the mirror because he knew I was behind him <laughs> it made him anxious oh stop sending me stuff I'm going home oh, go offline Well, that was a well that was a unexpected um, adventure I really was not expecting that to be a hard drop-off but that was hard you know what made that one hard was uh, the gardeners that were working on the landscaping number one uh, the cars that were parked really tight together where I had to crouch down almost on my knees to go in between the two cars while I'm carrying the food 
And then the third thing that made it hard is that there was no address number on the building. I had to just use the, my detective skills and determine that that was the right building based on the pin drop on the map and looking at the address number to the houses that the house that was on the left of that particular house. Otherwise, I would have had no idea if I was dropping off at the right house. Oh boy. And oh, did you see the door was just wide open? It's like, why is your door wide open? I'm like, you got guys with, with, with leaf blowers in your driveway. You think that noise would irritate you? Um, I think they were packing or moving or doing something. There was like, like a U Haul in their driveway. That's scary. They had a real scary Halloween decoration. Looked like a giant Frankenstein, like almost 20 feet tall. Yup, let me end my dash. I am done. Well, everybody, I appreciate you all once again watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you all again next time as I continue my journey through the streets of Vegas. Take care. Bye for now. Thank you.